YouTube. What's good? We're back again. Bike in the room again. Local per usual. I'm ready for the Muddy Creek Ice National tomorrow. Stoked. It's my first national back with the co-pilot since November. Flip it around. You know the you know the drill this time. I'm already shivering. Yep, and we are hyped. It's gonna be a good one tomorrow. Got a little bit of cash on the line. Had to drive around and find a hotel room where we can put the bike in, but we made it, we're here, and we're ready to freeze in the morning. I've been a little bit more worried about it than the co-pilot. She's been hyping me up, telling me to quit being a p So we're ready, <laughs> see you in the AM. Wow, insane. My girlfriend actually unknowingly to myself and her is HVAC certified. Even it wasn't working, she pulled the old IT trick, unplugged it, plugged it back in. Now we're kicking. Way to go. Yeah. A little sneak peek at tomorrow's forecast. Right now it's pretty warm, 38, you know, not too bad. But tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., 23, 24, not even gonna be over frozen till 1 p.m. So threw a fat main jet in the whip, got her ready to bark. Got the hotel set up, ready, wheels, cooler. Got the T2 right next to the AC unit, so we're gonna wake up high as hell on T2 fumes, no choice. Gonna be a good one tomorrow, we're ready for it. Appreciate all you guys watching, it's helped me bring my lovely girlfriend to lavish hotel locations like this Econo Lodge that we're at right now, so. <laughs> One to ten, how frozen are we? Hypothermia. <laughs> moto one, first moto back outdoors in like four and a half months. Got a sweet start, hole shot at 450 Pro Class on the smoke, so that was sweet. Pulled a pretty good gap right away, and then straight up, stupid Dumbo move. I did a 360 in the corner over there, first turn, just spun it right around with a huge lead, got up in second, and Got back to the lead, hands were frozen, arms were pumped, but we made it through, got three more to go, and we're stoked to be back. It seemed like it took you a minute to fall. Like, it was like a slow-mo fall. Yeah, I think the air is thicker because it's uh, Arctic. <laughs> made it happen. Great job.
two of the day, Moto 1, a 250A, pulled a straight Baltimore wheelie boys all the way up the start straight, came out like third, made a few quick passes to the lead and just kind of tried to manage it from there. Been getting arm pump like crazy. I swear I could just rest my arm on my windshield and blow it into pieces. They're so rock hard, but stoked we've gotten two wins so far. Kind of bummed I didn't bring my spare Kickstarter, so I can't wave it around like Kenny. But could always do it another time. <laughs> Our intermission coming up. We're gonna go ahead and do a memorial lap for a couple of different people. Paul, that used to work staging down for uh, Victory Sports for years, he ended up passing away over the winter, and then. Tammy Cooper, she used to take a lot of pictures of us and just put them on Facebook for free over the years. She was a great lady and uh, she, lost, she lost her life about a month or two ago as well. So we're going to do a memorial lap in honor of them. Uh, gone but never forgotten, y'all. Rest in peace.
finished up the day. Money Creek National, not Muddy Creek. We're going with Money Creek now for the Pro-Am and for the Grag Race. This this place has been good to us financially over the years. Second two motos, um, two more good starts and two more wins. They were pretty uneventful, so um, pretty stoked to start back out my racing. It's been four and a half months or so to start it back out with uh, four wins and some decent money from the Pro-Am, so um, really nothing to complain about from the day besides the fact that my arms have been straight Popeye all day long. I'm probably going to have arm pump until next Wednesday or Thursday, but that's neither here nor there. We made it through the day, and um, now we're going to get a few more weeks of prep in, get some training in. We're going to bring you guys along for the ride on that, and then it'll be Glen Helen two-stroke world championship time. Really appreciate all you guys watching, following along with me. It uh, means a lot to a local, so appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you next time.